Um, my dissertation uh, is about kind of human animal uh, relationships at three different scales. So it's uh, chapter chapter one of it is a uh, survey of dairy farmers and their connection to their cows um, and to their work. And then the second and third chapters look at animal welfare outcomes on kind of broader scales uh, within the United States and then the whole world and look at um, the factors that are influencing those outcomes like uh, economic growth and those kinds of things. The other research that I'm working on um, with my advisor uh, is in the Columbia River Basin looking at um, food, energy, and water systems and that's an interdisciplinary project so a whole different thing and a whole different approach working with um, like engineers and uh, you know, a whole different set of uh, challenges and opportunities. I'd say that the, the, the most important part of my research is um, kind of this implication that animal welfare is tied to human welfare and is tied to environmental welfare. So whether you are really passionate about animals and their well-being or not, um, it's kind of serves the interest of society and of all of us to make sure that we are thinking about those issues, um, even if you don't care specifically about the animals. Yeah, it's definitely a growing concern and something that the public is now um, aware of. And um, yeah, and farmer well-being too. That's part of my uh, uh, dissertation is, um, you know, farmers are part of this broader system too that's incentivizing like growing and investing in new technologies. And they have uh, their own obligations that they have to keep up with in order to make profits. So kind of understanding um, their experience in all of this too, while they do have like these different pressures from, you know, the public and from the government and from the economic side too. Yeah, so um, for my research with dairy farmers, um, it started by, you know, kind of going to dairy farms and talking to the farmers and saying, you know, talk to me about your experience and uh, how do you balance these things? And then from there, uh, I developed a a survey uh, that I sent out. And so it's looking at um, survey measures like that. Um, and then the other research is using um, administrative data, data that's been collected from these big organizations like the World Bank and uh, other nonprofits and government organizations and kind of looking at broader trends with things like animal welfare legislation um, and animal product consumption, those kinds of things. Yeah, it's been really uh, helpful for me to, uh, to, to just have someone to bounce those ideas off of. And um, one thing in working with, you know, other people and especially with my advisor is, um, it's <laughs> made me like aware of my weaknesses. Um, I'm very like parsimonious in uh, <laughs> in like writing, so I'll write, you know, something short and to the point. And then um, my advisor is really good at uh, writing more. And so working together, we can kind of uh, talk to your advisor. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of times when I'm having a problem or stressing about something, uh, I'll shoot an email to my advisor and she'll respond quickly and say, it's not a big deal. 
whatever I'm worried about or that there is like a simple solution or that it's okay that I'm stressing about it and that I should be stressing about it. Um, and so you'll save yourself a lot of grief if you just <laughs> express those problems to your advisor.